Welcome to World Transit today. Practicing in the tradition of Stanislav Grof and Richard Tarnas, blending consciousness research with astrology. I'm Art Granoff. Today, July 13, 2021 on World Transits, we explore five planetary archetypes. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. Focusing the spotlight on five transits. Venus conjunct Mars. Venus opposite Jupiter. Mars opposite Jupiter. Venus opposite Saturn. And Venus square Uranus. Hey, a lot going on today. So let's start out with Venus conjunct Mars. Mars is bold, demonstrative advances by taking chances. Venus is fascinating, luscious. I love you. Venus conjunct Mars. Venus value, appreciation, charm, delicacy, stepping in the right doorway. With Venus activated in our lives, we're a high worth individual. We're meeting with angels, high on love's bank account, sharing the wealth. Got to pay to play, though. Got savings? Or seeking attention. The media-oriented beauty. Kitsch. Lame cool. Ultra tattooed. Too much makeup. Too much rouge. Or, instead of a Fender Stratocaster, playing the Squire guitar. The Strat knockoff. Click here for best price. Mars is potent, hot, and ready. I'll kick your ass. The planetary archetype Mars is about strong will and activity. Mars reflecting a person with an attitude, weapon, or maybe a saxophone, ready to strike or play a solo. Something important needs to be done. Nothing is right unless a service or the song is performed. Whatever the mission, Whatever the tune, let's leave it to Mars, conjuring up action, then enabling constructive or destructive control. Also, Mars is showy, the proud peacock on display for others to see. The ego trip, here's my medals, pay attention, my sword is mighty. What's the state of mind here? The noble expression. Venus prevails through tenderness, through graceful, exquisite methods. Then Mars, ambition and force, must bow with honor. Or the shadow, any time might, crushes softness through brute force. To win with muscle or threats, the angelic must bow with contempt. Or as Memphisto says to Faust, looking for a thunderbolt, are you? A good thing you wretched mortals weren't given them. That's the tyrant's way of getting out of difficulties. Strike down any innocent person who makes an objection. Gets in his way. Hey, married guys, wonder why you're not getting any? Venus has significance. It's the prize. Mars defends it. Offends to get at it. And those roles may invert with the more tender male. He's so cultural and cooks. With the machine mechanic woman, she has ladders and fixes sinks. May I reference a great talk, solar and lunar, feminine and masculine, Richard Tarnas and Becca Tarnas, regarding archetypes and gender roles, talking about, as example, the tender man holding his baby or the heroic woman taking the lead. You can watch on YouTube. And here's Venus getting squashed by Mars. Let's meet Nicole Hannah-Jones, the New York Times journalist, MacArthur Genius Grant recipient, and creator of the 1619 Project, who refused tenure at the University of North Carolina after a prolonged saga. Then they changed their minds and offered her tenure. 
Hannah Jones declined their offer and issued a statement on her decision to accept the Knight Chair appointment at Howard University. Her critical opponent for tenure was Walter Hussman Jr., the Arkansas newspaper publisher, whose $25 million commitment to the university got the journalism school named after him. Hussman expressing concerns to top university officials that her hire would undermine the school's values, or more directly, his own set of journalistic values, which his donation prompted the school to inscribe in the front of the building. Among those principles, credibility is the greatest asset of any news medium, and impartiality is the greatest source of credibility. And the whole question of Hannah Jones's tenure offer and Hussman's role in blocking it does revolve around credibility and impartiality, but not necessarily the way Hussman wished it to. Mars crushes Venus, then Venus wins. Nicole Hannah Jones with Venus opposite Mars in her birth chart. Venus conjunct Mars exact today through early August, a six week transit. Venus, inspiration, move me brightly. Mars must manifest or at least react. What's my status? Getting red hot, setting the stage for conflict, a fight. Mars opposite Jupiter, just started till August 20th, a five week transit. Again, Mars, force, determination, courage, or forcing, overpowering, controlling. With Jupiter, larger sized, big perspective, open, giving, generosity, climbing the mountaintop, tasting the air, or as ultimate Titan, great emperor, too big for your britches, too outstanding, too much. Mars, Jupiter, big power, large, greatness. The proper reply, yes, your majesty. Mars, also known as power, the defender of their patron, with strong force, offending with voice, the fist, then high technology. Jupiter, imperial, stately, elegant, illustrious, or too much of everything, just ain't enough, the Gucci billionaire, the template to bring order and stability to the world, or imperial margarine, fake butter, large diabolical plans, raw power grab. Mars Jupiter, the larger perspective, seeing more Jupiter to advance Mars, my position, finding the way through resistance, or Mars, Jupiter, shadow expression, the corporate. We value your business. Thanks for shopping here. Have a nice day. We're eating at the royal table, sharing the big buffet, or overeating with easy wind blowing through the bayou today. We're gaining the royal perspective. A suite at the hotel and spa, Julius Caesar in Arles, France. Or royal hubris, identifying as the royal majesty, being a self-important dumbass. Ever see Dune? Please welcome the Baron Harkonnen, the giant warrior monster. I will have Arrakis back for myself. He who controls the spice controls the universe. Jupiter, again, size large, elevated, allocated, giving, generosity, or a large blunder full of hubris, too high or giant. Jupiter is elegant, luxurious, with pompadour, big self-image, a mighty hat, or someone insecure or boastful, painting the exaggerated picture, royal perspective, getting no spect. I'm the king, damn it. Venus Jupiter for three weeks till early August. 
Love is growing. Hey, we're raising our garden of delights. For best results, keep watering on schedule. Scaling the high mountain of tenderness, welcoming the elevated atmosphere, featuring royal self-love, self-care, self-improvement, high on the delicacies of life, filling generosity's tall order, or the shadow side, inflation tripping us up, self-elevation, I'm the greatest, beauty at any price, the rebelling body's exaggeration from too much intake or chicken fat, requiring the facelift, belly tuck, stop underarms flapping now, or the royal beauty, Queen Elizabeth, there she is, or the beauty contest, the wet t-shirt contest, hey, Take a bow, you are Miss America. Miss Universe? Venus, Jupiter, living on Grand Avenue, above the others. The super flirt, dressing for success. Sexual success. The beautiful exaggeration, overdoing it. The big bed and bath beauty queen, the Mac Mansion. Gucci billionaire, Mars Jupiter, big power, greatness, yes, your majesty, Venus Jupiter, love is growing, a large loving party, or too much love, suffocation. Here's Venus opposite Saturn, Venus again, love, beauty, social life. What's attractive? Relationships of the heart. Though, Venus can also be self-absorbed, overindulgent, or manipulative. Saturn's firm, strong, solid, mighty, complete. Enclosed in a system, leaning on strength, traditional foods, culture, or the tough exterior. Tenderness is heavy mechanic, building thick walls, keeping others back. The tough exterior, Saturn's the cornerstone of life. What supports us as sensitive beings? We need stuff to survive. Saturn as our body's manager, calling for food, shelter, and clothing. We give to get. Saturn requires us to do things, to face our burden to somehow work to get what we want. Saturn's also no, stop, no way, Jose, no toca, senor. Saturn's fear, death, take the last train to Clarksville, then I'll meet you at the station. Saturn cuts, splinters, separates everything into antagonizing parts. I'm here and you're there. Black and white, I'm this, you're that. Don't cross that line, man. Don't cross that boundary, border, because people like us do things like this. So, Venus Saturn in the news. Let's meet Princess Latifa of Dubai. On a yacht in the Indian Ocean, heavily armed commandos seized the princess. Shoot me here. Don't take me back, Latifa screamed during the raid, as armed men bound her wrists. Her father, the billionaire prime minister and authoritarian ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, sent them. Despite her pleas confirmed by eyewitnesses who traveled with her, the princess was dragged off the vessel and returned to her father. What will the neighbors say? I guess his authority, Saturn, was threatened by his daughter, who he loves, Venus, so much that he keeps her safe by confining her, keeping others away. This case may be far away, extreme, and rich people absurd, yet parallels situations in our lives daily, do you think? Venus, Saturn, shadow, what we value, Venus, the daughter, wife, 
boyfriend, job is gone, Saturn. We're upset, we lose, and it's not acceptable. We must have it back at any cost. We use all our force, Saturn, to retrieve it. It's really all about us. Our dynamic problem needs resolution. How we handle it, in this case, imprisoning his daughter. Venus, love, beauty, or overindulgence. Saturn, strength, method, or confinement. Venus, Saturn, love growing through time. Mature love, stirring the oatmeal. Long relationship love. Or commanding love, demanding love. Who do you love? And transit number five, Venus square Uranus through mid-July. Venus love, beauty, and tenderness. With Uranus, what's new, fresh, full of possibilities. Venus, I'm attracted, love, and care for you. Uranus, the birth of love, compassion, care. The beautiful feeling that we're in tune or shadow expression. Venus overdoing it, a caricature of beauty, how we look, fashionably hip, glamour, our body image, love that's bright as a star. Or shadow Uranus, can't cooperate, too free, starting stuff but can't complete, unconcerned about results, personal animosity. Venus Uranus, fresh love, fresh possibilities, sensuous treats, aesthetic delights, the arts, the art museum, or curt, too touchy, unfocused, personally unconcerned. With Venus conjunct Uranus in her chart, a poem by Maya Angelou, touched by an angel, we unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives and in its train come ecstasies, old memories of pleasure, ancient histories of pain. Yet if we are bold, Love strikes away the chains of fear from our souls. We are weaned from our timidity. In the flush of love's light, we dare to be brave. And suddenly we see that love costs all we are and will ever be. Yet it is only love which sets us free. So thanks for joining me on World Transits today. Available every day at my site, Reference Astrology. Contact me to schedule a birth chart and transit reading where we confidentially explore your chart, apply world transits, showing us your personal transits, revealing what's up for you, and find the audio version only, good for driving, at Apple Podcasts. And see you tomorrow.